Hey everyone, I'm back again, and today I'm reviewing Disney Pixar's Monsters University. Well, it's another Pixar movie made a decade after the first one, except this one is a prequel. It tells us the story of how Mike and Sully met, and how they ended up working at Monsters, Inc. together. It shows us early on, Mike looks up to the monsters who could scare children, and that's what he aspires to be when he grows up. He's underestimated and overlooked often from his peers, and works harder than anyone to show them otherwise. When he finally gets to the Monsters University, he's overwhelmed with excitement. He meets his roommate Randall, who the audience might remember from the first movie. Your lifelong best friend, right behind this door. Mike Wazowski signs up for the scaring program, and then we see many of the standard college aspects, such as clubs, sports, frat houses, potheads, cheerleaders, parties, and a fat slug desperate to not be late on the first day. It, don't worry, they keep some of these aspects very mild since it's meant to be very kid-friendly. But early on, Mike and Sully are shown to have a bit of a rivalry, and this is unfortunately what gets them kicked out of the scaring program. In their efforts to stay, Mike proposes to the principal that if they can win the scare games, he can stay in the scaring program. But if his team loses, then Mike and Sully are kicked out of college. Yeah, those are some pretty high stakes to bet your entire college career on after one term. So Mike and Sully join a fraternity with a bunch of very underwhelming monsters. It's called Uzma Kappa, or OK for short, which is the most hilarious labeling for them since they're just okay at most things. Mike trains hard with his team and still has a bit of a rivalry with Sully despite being on the same team at the start. And after many weeks of training, they start to work better and better as a team. And Mike and Sully grow to become friends even. They advance all the way to the finals and win. But turns out that Sully cheated and this was no victory at all. Sully comes clean to the principal, and he and Mike are kicked out of college. The best part is when Mike tries to prove himself to the school, and he goes through a door to the real world. Sully follows him and finds Mike by the river, and he tells Sully he failed at scaring a kid. And they have a nice touching moment where they share their own struggles with each other. At the end, we see Sully and Mike both start their work at Monsters, Inc., and it plays a montage showing them slowly working their way up to the scaring team. And it's a pretty simple and quick ending since they had to try and make sure the ending was in line with their first movie since this was a prequel to that one. I'd say this movie has some good character moments, some decent humor, and once again, amazing animation. Monsters University was a decent but somewhat forgettable Pixar movie. The story just didn't have as much of an impact as the first one, and the plot was more of a simple college bet than anything. I'd say overall, this movie is okay. And that just about does it for my review of Monsters University. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, consider liking and subscribing down below, and I will see you all next time.